All right, all right, everybody. This is RC Japan, RC Adventures, coming back to you with the DHK Maximus. I wanted to do a quick video. I have yet to be able to run the truck fully on 6S and get it get a good recording. Um, it's been raining all week in Japan. The park that I go to has been just, you know, it's been just crazy weather, a lot of rain, can't do anything, being at home. So I had a chance to play around a little bit more with my truck and I had ordered 4, 000, a 4,000 milliamp uh, 3S LiPo, but it was taking too long. So I decided to go with 6,000, a 6,000 milliamp 3S LiPo dual setup. And it took me a little time to figure out how to get it to work with the stock battery trays and I was able I was e even able to use the stock clips that hold the battery in place so what I did is I found a battery that's actually that actually fits perfectly I just cut out this little part here just clipped the corners out so I can run the cab cables through here back this way and um, I installed a second tower so this is actually um, a second tower so that I could run the strap uh, uh, underneath the battery but still have a place where the strap puts pressure and I was able to use the uh, the clips and I just flipped them the other way as you can see there here's the clips and the pressure holds uh, the batteries in place and it doesn't move yeah it doesn't it works out great so I was able to use the stock trays and install these monster batteries. Oh my god, look at these. HRB 11.1 volts, 3S, 6,000 milliamps. And I did run the truck a little bit um, be, uh, on the side of my house. I just don't have a lot of space. As you know, uh, Japan homes uh, are very limited with space. But basically, I mean, it just spun the wheels on on the road I mean it's just crazy power so I just wanted to come back to it my last video uh, cut short at the end because I was using my iPhone my apologies that won't be happening again I've upgraded my uh, YouTube recording gear if you will and um, I'll be doing much better with that but I, I wanted to share that with you if, in, if there's anyone out there that wants to run 6,000 milliamp 3S lipo packs on a Maximus can be done. Let me show you this here. Put this over here. And as you can see, I am using dual towers. You just need to get longer screws here, get some spacers like that. Move the uh, receiver box up here, and then you can get creative with however you want to strap it. See I ran the strap through the middle and now I can uh, I can run these battery packs and I can't wait to do a run speed test and all that still running a 13 tooth pinion I've got a 15 and a 14 so I'll try both of those out in the future by the way look at that switch look where that switch is sitting it's pretty it's perky it's accessible you can put your finger underneath like that to turn the truck on and off you don't have to take off the body I like where the ECS sits on the top better weight distribution if you run into some water whatever keeps everything away from it got an extra cooling fan sitting right there on top of the uh, spur gear that keeps helps keep everything nice and clean down here pushes out dirt debris you know and all that uh, it fits perfectly and then of course I'll be running I'm still trying to make a custom radiator for the motor all right so if you have any questions hit me up hope you like what you're seeing I'll be posting a running video real soon thanks again